Here we go. Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to the God Seller 7 End Time Prophecy Channel. Um, I'm here with Amber today, so yes, I am going to be smiling. <laughs> Hi, Amber. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for recording. This is take three. <laughs> Don't laugh. The other two were knocking at the door, so here we go. So I'm doing my prophecy again from, uh, let's see, March 10th, 2024. And thank you again, all those who put up with me with every wrong date in year. So <laughs> join me in the King James Version Bible. I'm going to be in the book of Proverbs. I'm here, like here. Dear Lord, please tell me what scripture, because this is a tough one. And guess what? I got it right up. So I'm in the book of Proverbs. I can feel the Holy Spirit coming. Um, chapter 3. Let's do it. What am I missing? Your glasses. <laughs> thank you. Uh, chapter 3. Let's do verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understand, understanding. In all ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. That is a perfect scripture for this, this um, prophecy. Look at the Holy Spirit on me. I didn't even say it yet. Thank you, Amber. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. You're such a big help. I could not do this. You saw me struggling with it with one hand. I know. Open. So here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we don't go. One dark. Uh, March 10th, 2024. Um, I think I got to this day. I want you all to learn to till the ground and grow your crops. Use your hands. Train your children. If possible, fish. Have fowls on your land for food. Train your children to survive without here it is, to survive without electricity and technology. I give ample warning, the Holy Spirit, whoa, I give ample warning of things to come. If you trust me, you will prevail while others succumb to death and famine. Wow. My messengers and prophets have been warning you of things to come. Now is the time. Whoa, how about that? You didn't hear that, did you? Mm -mm. Now what have we been doing? You have been gardening, and, and mm -hmm. we've been canning for how many years now? Mm -hmm. All right, so we know he's giving us an instruction here. So repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Um, we can read about that book of Acts, Acts 2.38. Now let's look at this again. Grow your own crops. Now what I just saw on the news headline, which was horrible, they... Um, the wildfires, I don't know if I mentioned this on the other video, I was like shocked when I saw it. The uh, wildfires in Texas killed, they saw them with over a thousand cows dead. Imagine that. Grow your crops, use your hands, train your children. This is the biggest instruction he's giving you. Train your children, if possible, fish. Have fowls on your land for food. Now someone just sent me a message, and, and, and I don't know who it is out there, because I was doing reading them quick that they already have chickens, I think, and other goats and things on their land since I, I warned about this. This is going to happen. Have fowls on your land for food. Train your children to survive without electricity and technology. I suggest take the equipment down, shut your Wi-Fi off, and do it for at least a weekend and see what happens. Oh, they're not going to like this. But you need to try this and see how you do it. And give ample warning of things to come. He's telling us we're going to have to be here, or those left behind, I should say that, be here without electricity and technology. And just think if an EMP uh, hits, everything just stops dead. You need solar panels. Pardon? Solar panels. <laughs> yes, solar panels. Yes, the telemarketers are going <clears> to <throat> call next. <laughs> as soon as I mention it, you know what happens because the phones aren't listening. I'll have a commercial for solar panels. Yes. Now, let me see. Okay. If you trust me, you will prevail. <clears throat> Excuse me. While others succumb to death and famine, that's the scary thing. My messengers and prophets have been warning. I have been saying this for 12 years now. Now is the time. He's saying, get with it, start moving, do what you need to do. There's the, the pterodactyl, as I always say, fly by. <laughs> well, it's just a great big giant bird. I don't know what it is. It could be one of those, what are they, chicken hawks that grab mm -hmm. things? It's not the eagle, it came from the, the, um, the roof. 
a family of pterodactyls on the roof. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. All right, so let's see what else. Okay, so let's do my prayer. Amber is still looking for the rest of the family. <laughs> We think, need Amber here when I'm doing these videos because some of them are so distressful and I don't smile the whole thing. All right, so uh, you need to have an emergency plan. I said this on every video. Uh, so have some cash on hand, uh, have some spare food, uh, uh, an escape route. I'm saying it. You need an emergency phrase for your family. You need to have something no, that I you and your that. family we did that know. With Jess, remember? Mm -hmm. When Jess was in school, we have still a have it. We still have a safe phrase. As this phrase is spoken, then we know there's trouble. Yes, that's what I said. I said to Jess, if you get a text from them <coughs> saying this or mom or dad, I said, don't <coughs> question it. Don't say nothing. If you're in school, just get out. Mm -hmm. You have to do this. Let them know who's getting them. That is the main thing, so no stranger tries to grab them. Right? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, so that is my emergency plan. An escape route out of town. Uh, do a test run on it. And yes, and everybody laughs at me when I say you, I would do a dry run just to see what was going on. You don't know if there's road construction, things are closed, things are, like, right now that bridge is closed, which is would be one way of getting out of there, mm -hmm. where I don't live anymore. <laughs> okay, so you need to do this. So let's do the prayer of Jabez before I get distracted with Amber here. <laughs> the prayer of Jabez. Um, God the Father in heaven, in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, bless me indeed. Expand my territory. Keep evil and the devil away from me and my family. Let your hand be with me always, and please don't ever let me cause anyone harm or pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. And thank you, everyone out there, for, for, you know, putting up with us. <laughs> All right, what else did I want to mention here? Thank you for the card. Oh, yes. My first St. Patrick's Day card after finding out that I'm actually Irish and Scottish my whole life, and I didn't know. How cute is this? Thank you, Jill. <laughs> thank you for the book, too. I think I mentioned that last time. Thank you. Um, what else did I want to say? I did the prayer. Um, just some thank yous on the on the um, the church ministry. Thank you everyone that supports the ministry financially, so we can help others. Um, thank you everyone for all of the um, little um, um, translations under the videos. Um, encouraging comments, of course, we always like that. And prayer requests, you can leave them anywhere. Now today is Friday. Yes, I got a doctor appointment. You know, because I can't hear her. So we're going to the doctors, but I'm going to try to do prayer requests tonight. So I'll put a notice up later at some point, and you can, and you can still leave a, a prayer request anywhere under the videos. I always go through them. Now we do need some prayers. <coughs> uh, Sister Amber's car needs prayer. <laughs> <laughs> My car needs prayer. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Brother Dan is still sick. Uh, he still needs prayer, still running around to different things and trying different things, and nothing works. My lungs need some prayers because yes, I'm hacking. Yes, she has that cough. <laughs> no, I don't have the cough. I just have the earache and the swollen glands, and, and maybe it's allergies. I don't know. Uh, Joe, of course, he still needs prayer. He's still struggling to, uh, how can I say, accommodate or get... get uh, Assimilate? Yes. Yes, he's still struggling with that, because it's all different now. <clears throat> Okay, our friend Jean needs prayer. Um, let's see, my mom and the nursing home. <clears throat> um, Joe's uncle Donald needs prayer. Um, he doesn't know it, but I do. <laughs> I know, really. Um, let's see, uh, Karen, I see your prayers there. Uh, um, everyone that leaves, I can't mention everyone, everyone that leaves a prayer request under there, do go through the mall and pray for everyone. So I think we're going to sign off there before um, I get distracted with Sister Amber. <laughs> And thank you so much for helping me record today. Cause You're it's welcome. So much, yes, it's so much easier. It is. All right, did I miss anybody on prayer request? I think I got everyone I could think of offhand. All right, so God bless you all. Uh, check in again. See what's going on here. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, like and share. And also, excuse me, <clears throat> on the Facebook channel. Uh, you, you don't need to send a friend request. You could just like and follow there. So please do that and share because they aren't doing it. So God bless you all. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Amber. You're welcome. We love you guys. Have a blessed and safe day today. Bye. <laughs> Bye.